For some reason, you need to have a good sleep schedule. I know, it's cringe. Egg sleeps? That's new. That's what I don't I'm... like sleeping. Alright, I'm gonna read through the assignment first. Come on, Egg, why you gotta sleep? What happened? Okay. Fortunately, I have to go be a theater nerd tomorrow. Damn, rest some pieces. All right, so me. Basically, I guess I just walk through my economics if I'm gonna succeed. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it's an assigned thing about like. Hexes and such. Okay. Hold on. Nip. All right. I actually did um give a presentation on a video game. <laughs> nice. I uh, I should do that. Um, I'm turning off that audio because. You guys and Make a way I... to bully everyone. <laughs> Alright, I am going to get started. Alright, hello class. So this is my presentation over the module two assignment. Uh so to go over the Excel doc first. Started by simply printing my name for the Excel code, which generated a current income, and then took that income, depending on the month and the year, to find the current CPI value. This CPI value I then used along with my income to uh, graph a slope and y-intercept for the CPI values. I then was able to use the slope and intercept to start getting some projections on basically what inflation will look like in five years, what monthly income will look like, stuff like that. Um, in the student loans section of the Excel, um, so for this one I was given a year and a month, and I had to go find the interest rate from the mortgage rates tab, so mine was 2003 on month one, so January. So I found that as 5.92. Back there, made percent. Uh, I then used this interest rate along with this initial amount that I had to repay to calculate both a subsidized and un unsubsidized student loan, which uh, math is pretty much just follow along. Um, and that was pretty much all for this section. Uh, in credit cards, um, I took my starting balance, payments per year, um, percentage of the current and fixed minimum from past sections, um, and was then able to go ahead and use Excel functions to calculate all of my current balances, payments, payments after balances, and interest for the month for a, a hypothetical loan. Um, and then summarized it here. Uh, this went on for a while. Luckily, Excel is made to work on stuff like this. Uh, and then for the annual budget tab, uh, I basically took hypothetical costs for living, um, pulled up the total annual cost based on frequency per year and the cost, um, and from there I was able to find my annual budget. Um, I, was, I pulled in the inflation rate from uh, earlier and was able to find the projected total. And then from my five-year income projection, I was able to see my remaining income. I then took this chart and turned it into a pie graph. So that's pretty much it for the Excel section of this. Um, and if we head over to the Word document, my... Uh, the main focus of this one was uh, budgeting for a uh, film editor or producer, which is the field of study I would like to go into. So I was given the format here with all the different questions, and I went through and I answered them. So 
but I know I'm supposed to do this as a presentation, so I'm going to go through a bit of them. So the first couple questions was just taking a uh, projected salary from my increment projection and just seeing how it compared to video editing and producing, um, in which both video editing and producing were more than likely to yield a higher salary. Um, but after taking in a uh, housing income from expected uh, living, uh, I could see that for the projected income, that the, inc uh, the income would work very comfortably for the style of life I was looking for. Um, then I took Java Producer and just looked at percentage and inflations for the job. Um, so for, I took these out of the Excel spreadsheet for the income projection tab um, and just kind of find out what like monthly paycheck would be. Um, so, uh, then for this next one, I believe we were talking about, um, just living expenses based off it. So, expected, uh, living expenses of 45000 a year, uh, a bit of pocket money to invest, video estimated, pocketed, esti uh, producing, estimated pay, expected to decrease due to AI here soon, so concern about the it's potential inside. future of steadiness of the career is downhill. Uh, from the student loan section, uh, we were given different potential loans. Like for this one, um, I used my estimated monthly income uh, to find out uh, basically how long it would take for me to pay off this loan and like what would be monthly. So we can find that the monthly payments on an unsubsidized loan would be uh, $383.56, uh, which would be comfortably paid monthly. And this would be over the course of a couple years, I believe. Um, for the student loans tab of the Excel spreadsheet, it is seen that in all situations, a uh, subsidized loan is always better. This is basically just comparing subsidized loans to unsubsidized loans from the uh, projected ones up here. Uh, just explaining the pros and cons. Uh, this last one was just talking about how student debt is an awful and horrible thing for the economy, uh, but is overall necessary for our students to be able to go to schools and such. So I have a bit of uh, I have a bit of a report from CNBS um, talking about how uh, student debt is roughly 0.05 percent of the global debt percentage. Which, well, it seems small, really quickly adds up, seeing just how much, like, everything is in debt nowadays. So, seeing that it's still 0.05 is still a massive number. Uh, so for this next one, we were talking about, like, the pros and cons of credit cards, when to use them, when to build credit, stuff like that. Uh, so I mentioned different stuff, um about like the problems with credit cards and how you need to be careful with them how to make careful and safe uh purchases basically um this one was talking about loans and uh how percentages of paying back over time i believe this one was actually talking about the difference between um paying off a loan quickly and paying off a loan slowly always better um, and then this was comparing credit card loans and physical bank loans and just the uh, concern with them which ended up being uh, credit card loans are uh, it, you're gonna have a lot higher interest and less time to pay them back compared to bank loans where it's predicted it's planned out in the future so it'll be lower interest rates over a longer period of time uh, and so for this one, we were talking about, this next section, we were talking about the annual budget of it all. So just um, projected uh, housing and food for uh, the future, just getting, just starting to get a plan, basically. Um, just trying to see what, like, most expenses would be and what would be paid over that. Now I'm talking about how Medicare bills, if they were a fifth of the total income, how bad that would be for a budget, just jabbing into somebody's monthly paycheck could totally ruin a plan so just budgeting is very important like what cuts to make if something happens or like an unsubsidized loan what cuts could you make to help pay off that loan um for the next section is ethics and christian worldview analysis which is seeing the effect of ethics and christian worldview within the economy 
Um, it was mostly starting out by talking about how charity and volunteer work boost the economy simply by just bringing more money to local businesses because volunteering very rarely happens in larger businesses. Um, did a bit of a study here from the Pro Bono Economics article. Um, continued to talk about how charity and volunteer are also helpful for people with debt and retirement, just being able to help out people. Um, it's a service. And then uh, understanding financial literacy, just uh, more pros and con uh, more pros to just uh, volunteering and serving and being able to help out in your community. Uh, for summary and reflections, I just kind of wrapped up everything uh, about talking uh, sort of about my plan for the future, uh, finances for that, talk about... Um, what like what I expected with like a note I hear had was about how GCU's math classes are all about like actually getting to plan for the future instead of uh, just more immediately like science heavy maths and such. So I, just kind of a summary of what we learned about on this test um, and then main bit of advice for debt was simply just be careful with credit cards because that is the main one. And then I listed out all my references at the end. Uh, so, yeah, that was my presentation for the Module 2 assignment. I uh, hope you enjoy. You know what else oh is? My <laughs> you, you know what else is good for uh, the economy and debt and stuff? Starting a war and committing genocide. Let's go! <laughs> Which is what the Christians are very good at doing. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, I, um, I mean, um, obviously, it's definitely the ethically correct decision to make. Yippee! <laughs> War. Christians were responsible um. for 1,072 wars and 105 gen genocides. Very hey. much does improve your economy if everyone's dead. <laughs> there you go. And I will quickly edit that and upload that to YouTube. Um. Do you remember? You made like an exclamation at one point, but other than that, that was the one time you talked. I don't know if it picked it up or not. Do you remember around where it was? Because I want to listen through that and just make sure nothing got picked up. I'm coming for you. Actually, it's already at MP4. I don't really want to have to edit this if I can help it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna listen through, scan for that. Um, okay. Alright, hello class. Do you, I start getting some... Here, I will listen through this while I'm starting to upload it. I stop stream because login information, smile. Yeah. Beast here. You had a bomb. Yes, that was, that was just a hey, if you want, you could talk this over. And then we'll fill in any week that you miss participation. One week, I missed a two, so. It'll be nice to get back. Solid no, upstairs. Please, please, please. Let me access YouTube. Bing. Don't do this to me. Don't you dare. Do this to me. I don't know why I use Bing. Fringe. It just popped up on the computer and now it takes forever to load everything. The Bing is terrible. Do? Yeah. Never use Bing. Well, the rewards was the only reason I thought you got it. Great. Upload video. Okay. 
Okay. Collect files. That, and then while it's uploading, I want to listen through it. You know what the best way to deal with 